Boom, hey internets, had a great interaction with a subscriber. We are talking about selling to retail, okay? We are selling to a brick and mortar, or it could be online, it could be a line, but typically we're talking about selling to brick and mortar or setting up our terms, right? Setting up our prices for our brick and mortar. So this is great to have this conversation early because a lot of people will not make the decision, sell online, and later if they decide they wanna try to get into retail or a better scenario, but also something you should prepare for is a retail ask them, hey, we wanna carry some of your stuff because we like what we see or it would fit well with the niche of our store, et cetera, et cetera. So you wanna give this some thought in the beginning. As the title says, a subscriber was asking, should I sell my t-shirts for $12.50? Because as you know, as I've spoken on this topic, when you keystone something, it's a 50% markup, right? So if you think about it that way, anything you see in a retail store or maybe even online, if you divide it by four, it should be about the cost of the garment, roughly. Of course, there's exceptions to the rule, of course. But if you cut it in half, that should be what the brand is selling to the retail for. Those are your wholesale prices, roughly. To be competitive, you wanna leave a little bit margin for retail so that they can edge out and win a little bit more on those prices. So that leaves you in a tough spot to make sure you can create your garments in a good little pocket where you're still making the money. Cause hopefully if you can, you're making 30% or more on that actual item. And so, should you sell a t-shirt at 1250? That's a great price. That's a great price to sell a shirt. I believe when I was at a recent, we were selling for 13. And then our suggested retail price was close to $30. It might've been $29, 28 or $29. So obviously if you do the math, if you do 1250 times two, you're gonna get $25. So we even mark it up. Let's say that we suggest they sell it for $28. You can see they're making an entire three more dollars. And that allows them to be competitive also if they need to discount it because they're having problems moving the product for whatever given reason, they still have a lot of wiggle room with that price. Now, these are the same terms that you could use for almost any category. Just do your due diligence in terms of looking at prices for walk pants or trunks, board shorts, jackets, all of that, and then the specific type of jacket as well. Whether it's a pea coat or it's a jean jacket is gonna be different pricing, but you can literally do the same thing with all of these. T-shirts are convenient and very accommodating and a big topic on this channel. So we're just using that for an easy example. Other question is, can I sell in dozens? The real essence of this question is, should you set minimums for retail? My short, quick answer is no. The retail who's gonna give you a shot is gonna have their terms to allow to have your product in their square footage where they pay a monthly, whether they sell your product or not. So it would make sense that a retailer wants to make sure they have the hottest product possible in their shop because all they want to do is turn product. They just want to turn, make their lease, and make a profit, right? And so if they're giving your brand a shot, which is a new brand, or maybe it's a new brand for that retail base, then they're introducing you to their customer and trying to see how well it does. And so you definitely don't want to set minimums that would create any kind of friction with you being in the shop. Big boys are gonna have a big test shop, but that's gonna be like pop the champagne type of scenario if that happens. A lot of times you'll get approached by smaller shops that have one door or maybe like three or five doors. So setting up a minimum of dozens, I just wouldn't do it and I've been in the industry quite a long time. Now, I have had friends that had mainly a soft goods based brand or a t-shirt brand, hoodie brand, a graphic based or a graphic inspired brand where they will say, Minimum order for retail is $500 in a dollar amount. You can set it at certain dozens if you want to. So I'm saying you can do that if you want. I would just leave it open. But I have seen some people set, for example, a $500 spend minimum for retail. But the truth is they've told me that they'll break it. But they just want to kind of set the bar so that they have something visual to have a reference upon. And so that might be something I would do, something you could consider. I believe there can be some benefit into having a target on the piece of paper of terms that says, hey, we need you to make at least $500 in a buy in order to do some retail with us and then wait for them to ask if they can do less than that and then simply say yes. I do think there's some benefit in that. So I uh, wanted to offer that as a tidbit as well. If I were you, I would check out my course, Wholesale to Retail. It covers this and a lot of other things surrounding selling to brick and mortar retail in a much larger scope. Also, if you haven't downloaded my free 
pre-launch course, you should probably do that because it costs you no money and it's a great place to start. I have other solutions on CBA, so check that all out. You have more questions on this or anything else, you could drop it all down below or you could text me at this number here. Gets me every single time. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.